title, Slam Dunk in Heaven, Nikki McRae Penson, WNBA stalwart and double gold medalist, bows out at 51. TLDR. Chill in the air as the basketball fraternity bids adieu to former WNBA sensation and twice crowned SEC Player of the Year, Nikki McRae Penson, at 51. Stellar on court record paired with influential off court impact leaves a legacy hard to match. Battled breast cancer for a second time before her demise. It's a somber day in the world of sports, particularly in the realm of women's basketball, as we say goodbye to Nikki McRae Penson. This baller, who shattered backwards and expectations alike, gave a whole new meaning to the phrase play like a girl. Born to rule the court, McRae Penson dazzled fans in the 90s while playing for Tennessee, clinching the SEC Player of the Year title not once, but twice, back to back in 1994 and 1995 no less, and earning Kodak All-American honors twice. But who's counting, right? Post-Tennessee, she swept through the WNBA like a cyclone, rocking eight seasons with the Mystics, Diva, Mercury, Silver Stars, and Sky, all while being a three-time WNBA All-Star. And just in case you thought that wasn't enough bling, she added two Olympic gold medals to her trophy cabinet while playing for Team USA. Talk about a career that was nothing but net. But hey, the court isn't the only place she shone. 2012 saw her taking her rightful place in the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Life beyond the painted lines included a successful stint as an assistant coach for Rutgers University's women's basketball team, preceded by a coaching run that kick-started in 2006 at Western Kentucky. From there, she became a head coach for Old Dominion, swishing her way to the CUSA Coach of the Year title in 2019-2020. Impressive much. Yet, it wasn't all sports, sweat, and victory laps. Off the court, McRae Penson was just as much a game-changer, handpicked by President Bill Clinton himself to be a part of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. She also got the nod from the Library of Congress to deliver the Women's History Month address in 1999. Of course, her life was not all dunks and dribbles. The Hoops heroine faced down breast cancer, not once, but twice. Now, that's what we call playing defense. Tragically, the relentless disease claimed her on its second encounter. Today, we tip our hats to Nikki McRae Penson. She made the game more than just a game, and her influence will resonate both on and off the court for years to come. As the sports world mourns, we're left wondering how many more would-be champions the world might lose to the menace that is cancer? All right, turned up fans, it's your turn to chime in. How will you remember Nikki McRae Penson? the woman who gave us countless reasons to cheer, both on and off the court. Disclaimer, this article is purely informative and does not serve as a recommendation for any health decisions. For any medical-related advice, please consult with a healthcare professional.